Dr. Bucknowski at Lowell Animal Hospital, and today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about dog medications. What are some commonly used medications for my dog, and when would the veterinarian recommend them? Things like antibiotics. Antibiotics are used for bacterial infections. Antiparasitics. That would be uh, any medication for either intestinal or internal parasites like heartworms, um, as well as external parasites, uh, fleas, ticks, lice, and mange. Antifungals. Antifungals are used for fungal infections or yeast infections. What about behavior modifying and sedative medications? So we tend to see a lot, especially uh, around 4th of July, things like that in the summer with thunderstorms. We'll see the need for mild sedatives. Um, there are a lot of dogs out there that are very fearful um, of very loud noises, so we'll use it for situational things like that. Um, there are occasional cases too where we'll need to use daily uh, behavior modifying medications for dogs that have extreme anxiety as well. Pain relievers, opioids, and NSAIDs. So we tend to use pain medication, um, of course, for post-operative uh, pain relief. Um, arthritis is very common in dogs, broken bones, things like that. Um, and we'll use either type of medication or combination of anti-inflammatories with opioids, etc. What about steroids? Um, steroids, again, are used typically for uh, inflammatory purposes. Um, sometimes at very high doses, we can also use it to sort of uh, weaken the immune system, if you will. And so we'll use those with uh, a wide variety of things from allergic reactions to uh, inflammatory bowel disease, um, certain types of cancers, um, things like that. What are some of the side effects and adverse reactions my dogs could experience with these medications? So each medication um, tends to have things that are very commonly noted um, as far as adverse effects. So your antibiotics, for example, uh, tend to, will tend to see GI side effects. So inappetence, nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, things like that. Um, some drugs have sedative effects. Um, again, each medication class tends to have its certain types of side effects that are most common. So it's best to talk to your veterinarian um, when a drug is prescribed to your pet um, to see what those side effects would be. What do I need to know about drug interactions? Um, again, this is going to be something um, you want to make sure that your veterinarian knows what medications your pet is currently on if, if you're seeing them for the first time, for example, or if a medication was prescribed at another veterinarian so that they're aware of what medications your pet is uh, currently on. Um, and then that way they can most accurately, you know, of course, make sure that the drugs that they're prescribing are going to be safe to give with, with what your pet's already on. Can my dog be on medication long term? Um, yes, there are a lot of medications and a lot of conditions that we have pets on long term medication for. Um, in most cases, we are wanting to make sure that you know the, the medication isn't causing long term effects to the liver and kidneys, for example. And so that's where frequent blood work um, screening comes into effect. So usually, we'll want to check liver and kidney function every six to 12 months. Um, and then depending upon the drug, we may need to tra track the uh, blood level of that medication in your pet system, either, for example, for phenobarbital, we check a level of that. Um, for thyroid conditions, we check uh, to make sure that the thyroid is in the right range with those medications. Why is it important not to give my dog medications without speaking to the veterinarian first? Um, yeah, so it's very important to talk to your veterinarian about giving any kind of medication um, to your dog. Um, certainly don't give any over-the-counter medication or medications that were prescribed for a different pet to your dog. Um, again, we might be looking at drug interactions, um, things that are toxic to dogs that you wouldn't know that, um, anything along those lines. Again, just make sure you talk to your veterinarian first. What tricks can I use to give my dog medications? Um, typically with dogs, we're, we're talking about hiding medications in a treat of some sort, whether that's you know a little um, bit of peanut butter or bread, what have you, um, some canned food. But if your dog is really difficult to give medication to, even with that, um, you can talk to your veterinarian about potentially getting medication compounded into a liquid or made into a, a flavored chew tablet so that your dog will take it more readily. Where should I get my dog's medications refilled? Um, you definitely want to get your pet's medications refilled through the veterinarian that prescribed it initially. Thanks, Dr. B.